Greetings, radio people. I mean, uh, hello, internet people. Today, we are... It's like a car ride. It's like a car ride right now with people that are having an argument. And instead of people, it's just one person, and he's yelling at you to get him home. Please, get me home! In the exact same way. Over and over and over again. And over again. Please get me home. And over again. Until you can't take it anymore. And you get angry. And then he doesn't he, he doesn't or can't even help you fight things. Or he can, but he's pretty much useless at it. And you're stuck with him. You can't stop. You have to get him to his destination, or else he'll starve or something. Because the only thing he is capable of doing is yelling, Please get me home. He can't eat. He can't. He can stand there and look at you, accusingly. Please get me home! So you, you just have to press on. Otherwise he'll probably die of hunger. Or sleep deprivation. Or... I don't know. Whatever. Maik wishes you well. Hello. What does this mean to combine magic? Magic plus magic is still magic. Too much magic can be dangerous. Maik once had two spells and burnt his sweet roll. Oh dear. How does anyone know there was a city of Winterhold? Maik did not see it with his eyes. Did you? <laughs> I like you, Meek. You're a clever guy. You know what's going on. Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax, if you're interested. But what are you talking about? To find a skooma. The sweetest moon sugar. At a fair price, of course. I don't, uh... I, I don't touch that stuff. Each has their own way. Not anymore, anyway. I mean, what? I didn't say that. All I do is pick flowers. You know what? I wasn't going to rip the uh, wings off of this butterfly. Like a psychopath. so that I would not alarm the person that was following me, but I don't care about what he thinks. So I'm gonna catch this butterfly. Rip off its wings. Murder it, and you don't care. All you want. Please get me home. Yes, of course. Listen, my friend, I have no idea if you are even capable of understanding the words that I'm saying, but we have to stop in White Run for a while. Um, I need to unload some things, and it's actually going to be nightfall in a few hours, so we should probably rest. And I was just wondering if that's going to be okay with you, or Please if I... Get me home! Okay. We're going to stop in Whiterun, and I was just wanting to see if that... Because we're, like, we're only like half the way there, so if that's going to be okay with you, Please then... get me home! I wonder if he even knows what he's saying. I like is this like the is this the only phrase he can say? Is this one of those things where he doesn't he like he's he only knows like ancient Nakaviri or something? Like he doesn't speak the correct language? I I don't We'll go find a find an Argonian and start speaking to him and those weird clicking noises. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. I would hope if so. Work you need. How about chopping up some wood for the fires? No. Nope. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the into Isolda. Anyway, what Once do you need? I need a room for my friend here. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Okay. I'll show you to your room right this way. 
I know where it is. I've been there like 80 times so far. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... Okay, my, my good friend, you are going to sleep here, and I am going to go sleep in the companion's place. Okay. Is that okay with you? Is is that... Please, get me home! Oh my god. Oh my god. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Oh my god. Before I have a sleep, I will make potions with all of the crap I've been collecting. I think I've discovered the best potion ever. This one fortifies and restores health, I think. Yeah. Come on, dude. It's time to go. Hmm. What do you have to say? Let me guess. Please get me home. Yeah. Come by Bellathor's shop. While I'm here, maybe I should ask around for that Nord woman, or not the Nord woman, the uh, Red Guard woman, that those men were after. I don't think I've ever seen a Red Guard woman around. I can't tell if you're Red Guard or just dirty. There's someone who can get things done. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. <laughs> That's awful. That's a terrible thing for me to have said. I'm sorry. Wait, you're a very Red Guard and a woman. Did you know some liquor warriors are looking for a Red Guard woman? Are you sure? Oh no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. Maiden Matilda, who said, "Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie." Oh, I've never seen you before. So then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. I guess you're gonna come too. Please get me home. Oh dear lord. His ugly red head rolled around on the floor. So, are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. What? Hmm? Tell me what's going on. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. Uh, they just asked me to find you. You can't tell them. Please, I need your help, and there isn't anyone I can trust here in the city. I don't know, maybe. What do you want? I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. Well, how am I supposed to get rid of them? They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. Well, any suggestions on how I might find them? I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Well, why are they after you? I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Hmm. And, and why can't you just go to the guards? You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless. Cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. Why don't you think I can be bought? I mean it. I'll, I'll cut you in half. Oh, that's why. <laughs> well then. Uh, she seems like a nice enough sort. Actually, she seems genuinely afraid for her life. I'm gonna have. I, I. I think I might as well just trust her. It's an honor to serve you. What? Wait, what? What? What is a house girl? 
As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with that. Lead the way. Sweet. I got a, I got me a house, girl. What I really wanted from this place, though, was to speak to the prisoner. Hello. What is it? Can I go in? I guess you guys don't care a whole lot. Hello. What are you looking at? I'm looking to find uh, Kimatu. Where is he hiding? You have a death wish, then? If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. What is it that you need? I have dishonored my brothers by being captured. And so they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now. But I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Not much to pay for your fine. One hundred gold will secure my release. You can afford that, can't you? I suppose you'd better hope you can, if you want the information. Get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Until next time. <clears throat> Need a blade? You should talk to Adrian at the forge. I want to be that prisoner's fine. Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Let's talk about how we can help each other. You buy my way out of here, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Your fine's been paid. Tell me about Kamatu. Very well. Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. But that's your problem, not mine. Guard! My fine's been paid, now set me free! Hmm. I guess now we could take you back to so, wherever it is. So good. You, you want to go... Please get me home. Oh my god. Now let me out. Right, right. Oh, look at that. I seem to seem to have forgotten the key. Yeah, you can run there for all I care. Okay, two options. I can go through the mountains to go to Windhelm to deliver the most annoying person in the entire world back to his home. Or, I could go over here, through the beautiful, beautiful plains, beautiful plains, um, to go and uh, rough up some jerk faces. You know what? I would much rather see the jerk faces. So that's where I'm going to go. With my new uh, lady whatever. Lady Carl or whatever it is. So, yeah. Dark Elf can wait. Please get me home. What's the matter? You can't stand the sight of a strong Stop enemy. talking. Okay. <laughs> I think we're gonna make that an episode, Internet people. Thanks a lot for watching.